were scared. They started to pour water on me. I don't know why they did this. Those who were there in the hospital in question say they didn't see a thing. All they saw was white helmets dousing confused civilians with water. Neither did the doctors see anything. On the 7th of April, I was in the emergency room treating patients injured during the fighting. The same day, around 7 p.m., we started receiving patients with breathing problems, about 15 cases. This happened because people were inhaling smoke and dust. They only showed symptoms of choking and nothing more. It all happened because one missile hit a building nearby and a lot of dust got into the hospital rooms. The screams, chemical weapons, chemical weapons, were used to create panic. This lasted for about an hour. We were treating the patients and then sending them home. We had no fatalities or instances of people suffering from poisonous substances. If you don't understand normal language, let's try a different way. If you are impervious to our arguments, let us bring you the witnesses then. How low do you have to go to bring a little child all the way here and threaten them? Right off the bat, denial. But here's the answer. We came here willingly. We demanded the Red Cross allow us to come here. How threatened do you have to feel to change your story and to deny a chemical weapons attack? Yes, Hassan is young and it's been difficult for him to make it here. A flight here is no easy thing. Little Hassan has told you the truth something you do not want to hear. It was a necessary measure. We needed to show that there was a lie and a very dangerous one. Anyone who hoped there'd be a breakthrough was in for a disappointment. Hours of testimony and evidence all for naught. So you mentioned in the Russian press release that somebody here uh, was going to be present who was a witness of producing the video of the white helmets and I was wondering where this witness is and if he can uh, tell his uh, testimony. It's my view, all these witnesses we heard from today are the evidence the white helmets film is fake. I don't know, maybe I missed something. When I spoke to people in Duma, doctors, medical staff, um, in the same hospital, in the medical point that received victims on that night, they all also told me exactly the same thing as people are now hearing um, in The Hague. And also when I went outside and spoke to civilians only 700 meters away from the alleged attack, they were also all saying the same thing to me, that there was no chemical weapon attack. I am surprised and I'm shocked um, the levels to which Western media uh, has stooped over this alleged event in Duma and the moral bankruptcy and degeneracy that we're seeing from Western media. I mean, to accuse Russia of uh, basically exploiting a child um, in using the evidence of 11-year-old uh, Hassan Diab after Western media has cynically exploited children throughout the history of this conflict. I mean, if we don't have to go back too far to remember Bana Labed uh, in East Aleppo, it is almost whatever evidence is produced now, it will be perceived as being influenced by Russia or by Syria. I mean, we've already seen um, the British government and, and Western media, if you like, laying the ground for saying that Russia had already pre-tampered with the site before the OPCW come in. So we can almost predict that if OPCW find no evidence of chemical weapon use in that area, the next line will be, oh, but Russia tampered with it and sanitized and sprayed air freshener around the site before OPCW could get there.